Afternoon, welcome everyone. My name is Transformation Coach Masha Dumbele. I'm also a negative emotional therapy practitioner. It's an awesome time in August as we start Women's Month and we just started with joining the conversations. And as you listen to this, be inspired. So join the conversation. It's something which was birthed last year in 2020. And I thought of let's continue having these conversations on the month of August so that we can empower and transform lives out there. Last year, we had so many wonderful women and their messages, even today, when I check on those recordings, they've been viewed so many times and I've received so much feedback from people saying, They've learned a lot because whoever that you are bringing, you find out they've got a message for you. And so we're bringing women from all different walks of life so that they can send a message and inspire. And with what is currently happening in our country, there's so much that we need. We need the support. We need to love each other. We also need to relook into our lives and what is happening and the pandemic and what is currently has in happening has shown us that we need each other. We need our families, we need to connect, we need to add value, we need to inspire, and we need to live each day with purpose. And we need to continue transforming and learning because if we are not learning, we are dying. And also just sitting out there and hearing other people's stories, they inspire us. So throughout this month, you'll be hearing inspiring stories from different women and, and you find that one of them resonates you. And if there's a message that is resonating with you, please comment and share. And throughout these discussions, if you've got questions for my guests, do you send them those questions? And with this one, we couldn't go live straight. We are having technical difficulties, but it's not the end of the world. It will be uploaded. And the moment you listen to it, listen, take notes, take time, take perhaps a glass of water and reflect on what is being said and what does it mean to you and what is it that you need to look at. So I welcome my first guest for August. She just opening this during the conversation and I'm so excited. And we call her Bumurao Nematehani. So I'd like her to introduce herself and hear what who she is. Welcome to join the conversation. Thank you very much for the warm welcome. My name is Muraro Nemataeni, and it's such an honor to be opening the sessions. And I'm looking forward to engaging with you and sharing about um, my journey and just having a conversation to empower other women and also men in our communities. And also, um, yeah, just have fun while we celebrate, empower, and educate other women. I thank you. Awesome. I think you have heard who she is. I think let me ask her further who she is, what does she do? and what makes her tick, what makes her wake up every morning? By profession, I'm a certified financial planner and I run my own company called Empower X Advisory Services. And with that, it's consultation and training within the financial services sector. And it's all about helping clients create a financial future that they deserve. And what makes me wake up every morning is that ability and opportunity to connect with other people and also help them plan when it comes to their finances. So the power of connecting is what, um, what makes me get up and get on the move. That's awesome, the power of connecting. So that is what gets her up every morning. So ask yourself as she's saying this, what makes you wake up every morning? Do you have something that wakes you up? Do you have that fire inside you that say, I need to wake up today and face today and, and create change wherever we are? 
So my next question is, what is your message for us today as we start this Women's Month? And having seen what has been happening in our country, many people are going through the most. For you, what is the message that you have for us? How can you inspire us and empower us? The message that I would like to share this afternoon is that if you've got an idea, start. And you start by starting. So anything that you would like to do, if you see something that is not in place, you are the person that needs to take that action and ensure that it is put in the right place. If you've got an idea about changing lives and also impacting communities, you have to start. If you um, want to change jobs, you have to start. If you want to start that business, you have to start. Um, I just wanna say there is power in taking action. And if we do take action and the next person does the same, um, the world can definitely be a better place. Awesome. So you need to start taking action. And in, in the sphere that you're in, what have you seen? I know even yourself, you took action to go and do this, to work independently. And just tell us on, just give us a summary of that journey of what did you do so that you take that action and doing this alone and say, I'm gonna do it myself, I'm ready. For me, it's, um, it's that desire or that needs to connect. I knew what I wanted to do, but um, sometimes you find yourself in environments that don't allow you to do what you want to do. So it was just a matter of saying, what do I need to do in order to create this perfect environment that I see? So everyone, um, wherever you are, I know you've got your ideal world, your ideal work environment. And unless you take that action and go and live that reality that you want to live, you'll remain where you are even today. And in saying that, um, I believe in that power of saying that I am exactly where I'm supposed to be. So even when I hadn't made that decision to say I'm stepping out from corporate after eight years working in financial institutions, I knew that I was where I was supposed to be at that stage. And when the time was right, it was easy for me to say, um, I'm writing this letter and I'm simply waiting for the last day of the month. It was a Friday morning, eight o'clock, and I just knew I needed to just press that send button so that I can take the next step. So it was a matter of saying, I want to start a new journey and I don't know what to expect in future. Yes, they, there was that fear. There still is that fear of the unknown and not knowing what will happen. But I'm like, this is the life that I want to live and I'm being bold enough to go out there and live it. And it's, it's been an amazing journey. I was just um, looking at it the beginning of um, the past month to say that it's been a year since I left corporate. But when I look back, I was like, I would never trade this opportunity for anything else. Yes, um, there's many benefits for being on the other side, but when I weigh them, the benefits of being on this side, I think they, they are, they weigh more and they make me happy. So it's, it's been a journey. Um, there's a lot of sacrifice that one needs to do and there's many realities that one needs to face, but all of it, it's, it's, it started with just saying, I'm starting. So, yeah. Awesome. So the key word is I'm starting. Uh, okay. and, uh, <laughs> and I would like to take you out of your comfort zone. As much as you have taken this journey, let's say there's someone who wants to take this journey, what were the challenges that you had to overcome? Um, I think just being on the other side, it's, it's out of the comfort zone altogether. And what I can say to a person that's thinking of doing that, I would say, take calculated risks. So before you do anything, have a plan. And that plan must be clear to you. Uh, it doesn't have to be clear to somebody else, but if you've got an idea of what you need to do, write it down and play it out in your mind so that you can see the, the gaps that you would need to fill before you, you jump out of that plane. Because 
yes, there's comfort on the other side, but when you decide to jump, you're falling down and it's up to you to build whatever you want to build because when, you, when you're jumping, you only have a plan. So it's up to you to ensure that before you land on the, on the ground, you've got your idea now transformed into a reality that you want to live. And once you've got that figured out, you, the only way that you can go is up. So yeah, the, the challenges are that um, you don't have that comfort of, I would compare being in corporate and uh, working by yourself. When you're in corporate, you know that eight o'clock you need to be at work and you would have things that you would need to do. Um, when an email comes in, you know what you're supposed to do. But now when you are on your own, um, it's up to you to say, okay, I'm going to set an alarm if I have to, to say eight o'clock, start work, 10 o'clock, I need to, to, to do a mini audit with my time to see what I've done with this first two hours of the day. And then 12 o'clock, you do the same because um, if you leave it open like that, you don't have someone to say, what have you done? Where are you? So you need to be more responsible and also um, take action in terms of accountability to yourself and what you plan to achieve. I read something powerful this morning when they were saying that you need to plan your tomorrow today. So when you are in corporate, somebody plans your tomorrow for you, but when you're on your own, it's up to you to say, what am I doing tomorrow? What am I doing next week? What am I doing next month? How is this going to affect the decisions that I've taken? How is this going to affect my business? So it's up to you to do what is right and also um, make the time that you have productive. Awesome, awesome. Thank you for this. I'll say for me, the key takeaways that I, I, I just got, it's like, you need to start. You need to take the calculated risk and you need to own your life because if you don't and you need to plan and each day you need to be accountable for what what in terms of your life of what you need to do and thank you for this and i believe those who will be listening who are listening to this you are empowered so ask yourself what is the key message that i'm getting from this and if you are starting something do look, do look holistically and look at the risks which are associated with what you do. And it doesn't mean you need to stop if there are those risks. They're, they're there so that you can mitigate them. And there's something that I normally love is that wherever you are, you are meant to solve problems. And those risks might be the problems that you need to solve and mitigate and inspire and help others to, to be able to be the best version that they can be. So my, my last question will be is, you have shared this. Why is this info, info why, why is the info that you just shared with us very important? Why is it important to you? Thank you very much. So what I've shared now is important because everyone has this ideal life that they want to lead. And at the end of your years, you would look back and say, but I should have stayed in another city. I should have done this. I should have spent more time with my family. I should have spent more time um, working. So people have different goals. And with those goals, it's up to you to say, this is what I want to do. So it's a matter of saying, you've got the power to decide on your life and what you want to do at any moment and any time. Um, most people feel like they don't have that power to choose and they tend to just go on life um, in, life out without finding that sense of purpose of or living their values. So um, I'm just saying that um, find that freedom, um, be free, choose what you want to do because at the end of the day, it all comes to what you will say at the end of your life. So if you're waiting for when you retire so that you can live your life, sometimes you might not even make it to retirement. And what would you say at the end of it all? Um, there's another song when they say, uh, if, if it's judgment day and they ask me what I did with my life. And it's that question that we will need to ask ourselves any day to say that, 
if I'm asked that question, what will my answer be? And am I living in such a way that when I say that answer, I will have a smile on my face? So that's why I felt it is important for people to do what they want to do, because at the end of the day, it's all about you. Awesome. So guys, it's all about you. Thank you so much for sharing this powerful message. And I believe everyone is empowered. Relook at your life. Are you living with purpose? Are you inspired? So as we are about to end, since you are a financial planner, how can people contact you? How do they reach out to you? I'm available. My contact number is 083. 261-0700. On Facebook, I'm Muraro Nematayeni. Also on other social platforms, LinkedIn, uh, Twitter, um, Instagram, it's Muraro Nematayeni. So you'll be able to, to find me there. You, they can also reach out to you and connect with me. Even with the comments, I will, I will keep in touch and also attend to anyone that has further questions. And I just want to say um, happy Women's Month as we start this beautiful journey. I think it's important to just celebrate who we are. For me, this year, when it comes to Women's Month, it's all about celebrating women. And it doesn't matter which chapter of your life you're in, but just being a woman, it's something worth celebrating. So even to you, um, Mashudu, um, happy Women's Month. And may you find joy and just celebrate yourself, each and everything that you do, every success that you accomplish. If you look back, you'll be able to see that there is something worth celebrating each and every single day. So thank you very much for, for this moment. Thank you so much. Happy Women's Day to you too and to everyone, every woman who who's listening to this. And you in God, you are empowered. Always remember that and keep shining the flag high. And there will there are challenges that we have seen that you might be going through, but always remember to rise up. They are there to build you. So thank you guys for listening. And if you want to be part of this, just comment or send me a message. And throughout the whole month, I the last will be having interviews on on Thursday, Fridays and Saturday and Sundays. And then on Women's Day, it will be throughout the day. And if you want to be featured and you feel like there's something yearning within you that you need to share with the world, because this will reach so many people do. It might be you who need to change someone today. So take the courage as Bo Morari said, you need to get out of your comfort zone because you won't grow. So get out of your comfort zone, join us on this journey of transformation and be the change that you want to be. And thank you once more. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in. And this has been amazing. So see you soon as we continue with join the conversation. So join the conversation is about you sharing the message that you have for us because everyone has got a message and it will reach many different people and it will reach someone who really needs to listen to it. So be encouraged. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.